We may have clocks and calendars, but the moon still has a very big say in human affairs. That's no truer than in the 1.6 billion strong Islamic faith where the first sighting of a thin crescent moon could today signal the end of Ramadan and the beginning of the festival of Eid al-Fitr. Ramadan, also called Ramazan, Ramzan and Ramadan, is an Islamic month in which devout Muslims abstain from food and water from sunrise to sunset. It began with the first sighting of a young crescent moon over Mecca, the birthplace of Muhammad, on Tuesday 13 April 2021. Usually the crescent moon can be sighted the evening after the new moon, but this year it took until the following evening, when our satellite was easier to see. What follows the month-long fast is Eid al-Fitr, the festival of breaking the fast, which is one of two holy days of the year for the Islamic world. The exact date of Eid al-Fitr also depends on the sighting of the crescent moon after new moon, which occurred at 1900 Coordinated Universal Time on Tuesday, May 11, 2021. That could occur today, Wednesday, May 12, 2021, when a 0.6% illuminated crescent moon will be just above the western horizon after sunset, as seen from Mecca. But it may not be visible. The next evening, on Thursday, May 13, 2021, the crescent moon will be 2.9% lit, be 1.7 days old, and be much higher above the horizon, so should be easier to see with the naked eye. The planet Venus may also be visible beneath it. Eid al-Fitr marks the first day of the month of Shawwal, which lends this new moon the name, Shawwal Moon. As well as being important in the Islamic calendar the, Shawwal Moon, also sees out satellite become positioned at an import node of its orbital path around the Earth. The moon's orbit of Earth is inclined by 5% to the ecliptic, the path of the sun through our daytime sky, so twice each month its orbital path crosses the ecliptic. That's a node. When that happens at full moon, a total lunar eclipse occurs. Thanks to the alignment of the Shawwal moon, it will reach one of those nodes shortly to cause, on May 26, 2021, the full flower moon to turn a reddish orangey color for just under 15 minutes. Visible around the Pacific Rim, it will be visible most easily from the west coast of the US two weeks later, exactly one lunation from now, the alignment will still be in place for the moon to cause another kind of eclipse. On June 10, 2021, the new moon will slip across the sun to cause an annular solar eclipse. Colloquially known as a ring of fire, only 89% of the sun will be covered because the moon will appear at its farthest from Earth so will appear slightly smaller in our sky. Though the ring of fire around the moon will only be visible from a narrow path through remote areas of Canada, Greenland and Russia, northeastern US states will see a huge partial solar eclipse at, or just after, sunrise. So the effect of the Shawwal moon will be great.